All right, everyone, we have a fairly worrisome tech update here. Another major violation of the Fourth Amendment. Uh, it involves a YouTube video that was put out apparently by a Bitcoin scammer trying to do some sort of investment fraud. And uh, tens of thousands of people watched a specific video. Now, the court filings are a little bit up in the air. We're not sure exactly which video it was, what user uploaded it, where they're from. It could have been... Uh, uh, Nigeria, it could have been Italy, it could have been the United States, we're not 100% sure, but the cops are looking into it. Uh, but apparently, it was effectively a, an investment scheme. So uh, basically, like, like, like one of those pages, and, and they were proliferating on, ch on Twitter before they cracked down on this. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, here's Elon Musk's website, he's doing an airdrop or something like that, and then, of course, if you send your, your crypto there, uh, you aren't actually getting free crypto back. It's not actually an airdrop. It's a fake site. Boomers will be taken in by this sort of thing. I saw that like uh, it was being posted on Elon Musk's own posts on Twitter for a while there. And I looked at him like, hmm, well, it is a sophisticated website. It looks pretty realistic. I can imagine that they made a lot of money off of this. Uh, anyway, in this particular case, simply viewing the video on YouTube would get you on the fucking watch list. So anyone who viewed this, and again, I, I don't know the video because the court filings blank it out. It's, it's not actually listed what the video is. If you watched it, though, uh, your name, your address, your full identity, everything is, uh, was handed into the police, apparently, by Google. And uh, if you watched it and you weren't logged in, then your IP address was actually logged as well. I'm thinking um, it must have been one hell of a scheme for them to get a blanket warrant that big. I, I, I look askance to the police, uh, federal or state level, being able to gobble up that much information based on the fact that somebody might be defrauding others. I mean, is it for the purposes of contact tracing? Like, hey, did you uh, accidentally send your Bitcoin to this address? Well, we're really sorry, but it was part of a Ponzi scheme or something like that. I don't think that that's the reason. It makes sense to try to gather intel. Uh, if you think that some major crime is occurring, but to have such a blanket warrant uh, is a little bit unnerving, the fact that they were actually able to get a court to issue it. Now, uh, other update is that Google may or may not have actually given them the information. So the hope is that they said, well, you know, you're asking for several tens of thousands of people's user data, and we're uncomfortable with this, so, you know, you're going to need to litigate against us because we can't do that. But it's Google we're talking about, so they probably coughed it up. Very strange story altogether. Several people actually sending me this news tip. Link in the description, uh, archived, of course. Uh, again, the tale is that based on somebody attempting to scam others, a shit ton of other people, like, like the population of a small city, uh, all of their personal information was swept up. I'm wondering, does that also include scans of their IDs? Because, you know, for a lot of these sites these days, you have to upload a picture of your ID and or a selfie or something like that. Uh, did that get swept up too? Because it's not really mentioned. Uh, it's an egregious violation of the Fourth Amendment when you really think about it. It makes absolutely no sense. Okay, somebody is trying to scam others, so the people that are potentially victimized by that scam, by having watched the material, they have their shit uh, swept up? For what purpose? Do you suspect them all as part of a massive Bitcoin scheme or something like that? Just another attack on crypto, probably. Um, the idea is to try to make it uh, make it less valuable by convincing Soccer Mom America that it's being used for uh, money laundering and drug sales and trafficking and things of that nature. No, I think that uh, if I was involved with criminal activity, I don't think that I would want it on the blockchain. I think I'd use cash. Yeah, you go in the back alley. Hey, you got my crack? Yeah. Okay, well, here's a, some, a wad of Benji Greens. Give me them crystals. Yeah, I'm going to go smoke with Sleazy. Or maybe with Hunter Biden. It depends on what degree of crack you're on. Yeah. Sleazy don't get high on his own supply. He's made that clear a number of times. Hunter Biden? Yeah, I'm sure that he can deal you some, but it's going to be at Marco. Uh, when I looked at this story, I was confused at first, actually. Like, uh, what, what judge would actually issue a warrant that involved that much user data from that many people when there's no clear present reason to believe that any of those individuals actually were involved in some sort of criminal activity. I mean, unless you're trying to warn the potential victims, hey, you know, you show up at their house. They're going to show up at 30,000 people's uh, different houses and say, hey, uh, next time you see one of these airdrop things, be real sure to double check that link because it might be a scam of some sort, like they're doing a public service or something like that. I don't think so. I think that it's more about just gobbling up user data. 
So they said, well, yeah, there might be some problematic people on this list. Uh, they're all suspects now. 30,000 different individuals are suspected of uh, trying to defraud people using Bitcoin, using a bit, uh, Bitcoin uh, airdrop sort of a scam. I don't, I, yeah, I just don't believe that. I don't think that it's, uh, I don't think that that's, uh, that's meaningful at all. Sorry. But uh, this is a major violation of the Fourth Amendment, uh, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, people's right to privacy, uh, th th their home addresses, their phone numbers, their actual identities, like their given names, all of that stuff uh, by the tens of thousands was swept up. And it's not even necessarily clear how that would be meaningful to a criminal investigation. Most of those people, if they interacted with the content at all, they're the victims. Why the hell do you need their data? Unless, again, you are going to go and confront them and say, look, you know, you got scammed. I'm sorry, but that $500 uh, dollars worth of Bitcoin that you thought you were sending to the Nigerian princess so that she could come over and bang you, uh, it actually went to some uh, greasy dude sitting on the beach somewhere who simply happens to be good with computers. I just uh, don't get the feeling that that's exactly how things are going to play out. That's about all. Peace out.